Hello everyone. You might already know this, but my boyfriend's a tennis player and because of that, he travels all the time and I don't get to see him often. I'm actually watching him play right now. Go James! But anyways, I'm supposed to see him in Brisbane this weekend and how we were figuring it out is that finish off this tournament in Darwin, fly to Brisbane, I'll fly a day early and then we get to hang out for the whole weekend and then I go back to work on Monday. However, the plans might go a little bit astray. He thought his tournament was ending on Friday, but the finals are actually wrapped up on Sunday. If he ends up making the finals, he will be still in Darwin on Sunday and I will be flying back to Melbourne on Sunday. But we're supposed to be meeting up in Brisbane. We're gonna see what actually ends up happening. I have no idea by the time I'm recording this video. Yeah, I have no idea what's gonna happen, so stay tuned. <laughs> I will see you in Brisbane. I think we have to take advantage of this nice, lovely day because the weather in Melbourne has been absolute booty cheeks. So let's go enjoy all this. Definitely the hard thing with going to a new place is you don't always know like the good spots. So I saved a bunch on Google Maps. I'm gonna walk around and see what I can find. But I did see this one coffee shop that I think has matcha. So let's aim for that. <laughs> video but like I was like damn that thing is good but you know I'm a bit worried about filming in public sometimes so don't always give the expressions that I should be and also look at this freaking bagel it's like a smoked salmon bagel kind of thing with capers in it I feel like I haven't seen the sun in months so good right now. Smash that bagel, so good. Whatever this place is, short stop coffee. You outdid yourself, and I'm so happy I found you on the first day. That means I get to have it two more days in a row. Okay, I just got back to the house. Sir James has woken up. Look at the champ. Good morning. <laughs> okay, hi. I am going to maps the location on where I'm going. It's called, no, that's not it. It's like Sutton's Beach, I think is the name of it. That's where we're gonna be driving out today. I also wanna stop on the way and grab a bunch of snacks for like little picnic vibes, you know what I'm saying? I'll see you when I get there. <laughs> This was very fun, and I got to pick out all this fun fruit. It's a time for a little haul. Popcorn is two dollars, so it's like, oh my god, have to. Liquid Death. Fun fact: I thought this was an energy drink when I first had it at Outside Lands in San Francisco, and someone was like, no, nah, it's water. Cool looking water though. Strawberries, my fave. Blueberries, an apple, and the best part: chocolate to dip the strawberries in. It's literally the best part. It's very, very nice here. The beach is perfect and I found a great spot in the shade. It's just gorgeous and beautiful and I found a parking spot and everything and just, luck is turning out my way.
Okay, I haven't done much talking today. <laughs> today has been absolutely so nice and it's only 3 p.m. James has his match at, I think, 3.30. I am going to go home, watch the live stream, probably kick back, relax, and then go out to this like night market thing that I saw what, that I walked past this morning. Obviously, I'd much rather be with my boyfriend here on this weekend, but we're making the most out of it. <laughs> So the thing is, with the result of this match, literally determines if I spend all of tomorrow with James or if I see him only on Monday afternoon after work. He might win a break point right now, so we'll see. I really want him to win, but also selfishly, I want to see him too, you know? Oh, I thought that was in. Dang. These sure get stressful. <laughs> okay, this is the break point for James to serve. He's on the far side and he's about to serve. Woo, he won, yeah, go James, yeah. You must be so proud of yourself, but also, what the hell? I wanted to see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, me too, I'm like, oh, I know. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, I'm happy for you or whatever, but... Yeah, that's fine. This is a lot for being away and going. I know. I don't even get the perks! <laughs> I'm only getting the bad I side! I don't get to travel. I don't get any money from him. I still have to work. <laughs> What's your ranking now? Uh, top 100. Approximately. I love you. Good job. I'll see you Monday. <laughs> love you. That does not look good. Is someone pee? Anyways. James's match starts in like 30 minutes, I think. So we're going to head down to go get some food at this thing called like Eat Street. It's like a night market thing. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm hungry. So let's get some good food. <laughs> it really looks like someone feed in there. chicken burger bad did not like it next I got some ice cream bad did not like it didn't finish it so instead I got a trusty old HSP but honestly everything was like way too big for me to eat all by myself it's definitely like that fried kind of fair food you know so if you're wanting to have at it I just don't normally eat it also watching James he's not doing well FaceTime with James and I miss him so much and this is so lame. I literally have this gorgeous beautiful view and I'm sad. How does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> FaceTime James for a bit. He made me sad because he would be here today but he's not here today. <laughs> BA. I woke up and went over and did my same morning routine that I did yesterday and it was nice and all but I'm just tired. Time to stop being a lazy bum, and now I'm gonna go on a run. But it's kind of hot outside, but no, I'm gonna go on a run anyways. I just need the endorphins right now. Been laying around too much. But sometimes when you're not feeling good and you're feeling like shit, all you gotta do is go outside and go on a run. 
And that's what we're gonna do today. I really do not want to go on a run right now. But I know it's gonna be so good for me, but like, oh. All right, let's get this freaking run done. Man. I just ran 1.5 kilometers, seven minutes something. I'm like, I'm gassed for just a kilometer and a half. What the fuck? I'm so out of Broke him again. No f way. Oh my god, I'm so proud. At this point in the game, James is playing incredibly well and is up 6 1 in the first set. This is where I start to get nervous because genuinely anything can happen in tennis, no matter the score. Especially because this is a finals match, it's not normally a score you would see. Also, I just wanted to note, he's playing against Omar Jessica, who is ranked top 200 in the world at the point of this game. So to play at that level against someone ranked so high, it's just so impressive. And it would mean a ton if James were to beat him. Okay, James just got broken now in the third set. I'm getting so nervous for him. Come on, James. Oh, it was so close. Oh well, at least I get to see him tomorrow. That's the silver lining in it all, so. <laughs> the On the way we go. I'm so excited, I'm actually like nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> James and I went out for dinner and of course some yochi <laughs> and then I went and caught my flight to go back to Melbourne although I didn't get to see him for much it was a fun trip for the weekend and I'm really glad that I ended up going thanks for watching bye